judges scorecards and stuff like that they had you um losing the first round winning the second round um i was watching it and i was like all right i think he got the first round but then that head kick came which is like one of those things where it can go either way but i for sure thought you won the second round um but with that being said usman right we're gonna maybe skip around a little bit but i'll try to like title and usman also says you were down two rounds other people are saying you were likely down two rounds and you needed that knockout. How were you feeling going into the third round? Uh, I thought I knew it was competitive. First off, I knew I knew I felt like it, I felt like it was back and forth at the time. I rewatched the fight because also the judges were weird that night, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what they talk, yeah, yeah, that's what they said. Actually, there was one judge that had me winning the fight, had Wonder Boy winning the fight, and then one that had us one uh, me first round, Wonder Boy second round. You know, uh, but regardless of that. I just knew it was a close fight, right? And I felt like in my heart of heart at the time uh, when I was just, you know, out there in the cage that we had to get a finish. Even if I felt like I was winning, I still could not rely on going to the judges because every moment that Wonder Boy had, you could hear the oohs and the ahs from the crowd. And I already know that the judges are easily um, um, sw uh, persuaded by those, you know, those, those noises, you know, and they can make those decisions like that. So I just knew that at the end of the day, I was like, bro, I got to get a finish, you know. Uh, but when I rewatched the fight and I look at it, I believe I was winning the fight the whole time. I kind of do, you too, know? honestly. Like, no bias. If I take that out, I feel like you're winning. Because all I can say for Wonder Boy is he landed that big strike in the first. Mm -hmm. And I just don't feel like that's enough to kind of, like, take the round exactly, with, like, right? all the control because you did in that Because even with the, the striking, the, the, the striking numbers were the, almost similar to the same, if not minus more. I put out more output and I landed more. So with that being said, if it was just, let's take the wrestling out. If it was just, I'm winning the striking bout. Right. So then you mix in the wrestling. And now I mix in the wrestling. So yet again, I, I, I had more moments in that fight. And, you know, but people just how they feel and, and just who Wonder Boy is, they just want Wonder Boy to be winning. Right. So any moment that he has, whether that's him getting back up to his feet, whether that's throwing it. You got to realize, he didn't land a, a head kick, though. Right? It was still blocked. Very powerful, though. I ain't going to lie. You know, I'm glad I had my hand up. <laughs> it, it seemed to rock you a little uh, bit. That's what people nah, were saying. Nah, it didn't rock me. <laughs> no? Okay. It's, it was so powerful, it knocked me off balance. So it looked like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, got you. Um, But I was still able to move forward exactly how I was doing. You can't... If you're a rock, you can't keep the same type of footwork, right? Uh, a lot of guys, when they get rocked, they had an equilibrium, you know what I'm saying, knocked off. And you either stand still or you kind of bag away, right? For me, I kept moving forward. Kept that same pressure on them. Nothing changed from that. And I was able to, you know, yet again, set up a great and beautiful knockout right after that. Um, but regardless of that, though, it was a very powerful kick. Luckily, I had my hand up, but it just knocked me off balance. Um, but I really feel like that was the only thing that he had, but a lot of people yet again, just reacted to it and they made it bigger than what it really was. You know? Yeah. I feel like just cause the wonder boy bias that's a little bit, they did. love him. You know? So that's right. why, but, that's okay. why we knew we had to get the knockout. Cause I believe they would have robbed me that night for sure. Okay. Well, there we go. So it's good. You got the knockout. You went out there in the third, uh, going for the knockout. My whole intentions before I walked into that cage, I was gonna knock out Wonder Boy. Always, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just keeping it okay. buck. Like, so regardless <laughs> no, yeah, of how the right fight was going, whether it, I was losing, mm -hmm. you're the, always the going main for it. intentions once I walked out into that cage was to knock out Wonder Boy that night for that third check. He, he, which he you said, got? yeah, for that th exactly for that third check. And speaking yes, of sir. that third check, Matthew, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the love. Well, come on, I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to hit up. Uh, I'm gonna have to hit up uh, my people on a personal, uh, personal note because uh, I think I think that uh, that bone is supposed to be a little bit different. Oh, uh, what does yeah, that mean? I think it's supposed to be a little different. It's supposed to be 50k uh, or more than yeah, that. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it on the wraps <laughs> just in case. Right, right. <laughs> but uh, anyway, there's a little uh, teaser. We'll see what happens. Exactly. Happened um, but regardless of that, though. I really feel like yet again the game plan and the thing was Wonder Boy was supposed to die in a car accident, a head-on collision. That's gotcha. what happened that night. 